morning. Good morning. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. Um, we are away in the van. This was like our holiday week this uh, June. Uh, so we were actually going to do a, a week's walk, but um, work was quite busy and a few things happened, and so we just come away for a couple of nights. Um, the original plan was actually to go to the Alps before <coughs> before we were going to do a long walk, but um, the a few financial things happened. Like my car broke down, um, so we had to buy a new car, uh, and Brockan had a load of work stuff to buy for his job because he's self-employed, so we haven't managed to go to the Alps, which is such a shame because we were really looking forward to going there. But hopefully at some <coughs> point in the year, maybe in the autumn when we saved up in the summer. We've we've come here and it's obviously a reservoir, um, which I filmed this morning a bit, um, so there are a lot of midges and I think it's okay at the moment because there's a bit of a breeze, but last night there was loads, wasn't there, because it was dead still and um, they just kept coming in the van every time we opened the door. But it's actually all right this morning. We're just getting bitten, but not, not horrifically. It's actually really nice to be out in the van in summer because we've obviously did it up for winter and it's lovely to have it in the summer and have the back doors open. We've been doing quite a lot of um, just single nights around where we live. So they're like little mini holidays and just before work or getting back quite early, we go out quite late and then go home quite early to get on with things. But it's just been really nice just to sleep in the van and make the most of it really, make the most of having it. Up this whole box, mostly glass. I just think, just take it home. It's not that hard. Collect it into your van or car. Take it back home. I don't know why people have got to leave glass bottles smashed up in the wild. We found a walk that followed a wooded valley up onto the hills. Lush and green, full of flowers, grasses and scrubby thickets of trees. The raindrops fell onto the canopy of leaves above us, a sound I find so comforting. Something I love about Wales are these old places. The places left behind by development the overgrown footpaths and old buildings stuck in time. They are places of solitude and quiet, places that are still and almost forgotten. I didn't end up filming a lot on this walk, as my camera isn't weather sealed and so I can't get it out to use in the rain but we walked until the thick grey clouds rolled over us and pushed us back down into the shelter of the trees and valley below. We are at our camp spot for tonight. It's a really nice place. I, we haven't seen anyone else yet. We've been here for about, well, we went for a little walk um, and no one's been around, so it's really nice. It's very, very quiet. We kind of attempted three walks today. The first one we gave up because it was predicted to be thunderstorms and there was huge grey clouds. So um, I'm quite scared of thunderstorms, so we turned back. And then we went up another walk, which was really, really pretty, and it absolutely poured down. We were soaked and now we've just another little walk which is really nice now it's really sunny and breezy now so it's like perfect weather so i think we're just gonna make some dinner now and it is summer solstice today so i really want to stay up till sunset but i'm not sure if i'll make it because <laughs> i'm really tired as well but it seems weird not to step to sunset because we didn't get up sunrise either so it feels weird to do that on the longest day of the year but we'll see 
Both of us did manage to stay up till sunset. Just I almost did fall asleep beforehand, um, and it was it was very pretty. I'm glad I saw the end of the longest day. Um, and then uh, this morning, Brochan woke up just before sunrise, and there was a cloud inversion on the reservoir. Um, I did it like disappeared very quick, so I don't know how good the stuff I got was. The Brochan. I thought it might be good for the film, though. Let me just do it now. That's our very well working tap. Pump. <laughs> our tap pump's broken, so we have to turn it on and off with this at main switch in the cupboard, oh, which is quite annoying. Put a fuse. Yeah, we have to take the fuse out. And then put it in to use it. Yeah, I'd recommend getting a foot pump if you ever do a tap in your van. 
We'll just get one that works. We'll get one that works, yeah. Um, yeah, so that was very pretty this morning with the mist. Um, but then the cloud came in quite thick, so we actually then slept till quite late for us at half seven or mm. something. That's like a lion for us these days. Um, so yeah, we're just going to have some porridge and then set off for a walk, go find a walk somewhere. Let's see how much I got left. Oh, creamy porridge. Oh my mm, mm, mm. Mm. Yummy. You are the home I've never left, but never been to. Like a father gone to war, I cannot reach you. kind of looking for somewhere to go for a little swim and um, we saw this. The water's actually warm which is feels a bit weird, it's fresh water and it's actually warm. So yeah we're just gonna have a coffee here. Um, I'm making my camp coffee which is very simple. You just put coffee in a cup, hot water in and then you let the coffee settle. Uh, very straightforward and easy which is nice. And then yeah we're just heading home now so um, thanks for joining us on our little trip and um, hopefully see you on the next video.